What's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to do a little experiment with the Amazon Fire Stick 4K and see if we could get any more performance by cooling off the CPU. Basically a lot of these ARM chips pull back the CPU frequency to keep it cool. It's called thermal throttling. When it reaches a certain temperature, the CPU will underclock itself so it doesn't overheat. And with the Amazon Fire Stick in such a small enclosure, it makes sense. I've had a lot of people tell me that they've drilled holes in the casing and they've noticed a performance increase. Personally, I don't think this is going to help, but we're going to go ahead and try. I know it looks like a mess here, but the Amazon Fire Stick 4K is plugged into an HDCP stripper. In turn, that's plugged into my PC and my Elgato game capture so I can capture the screen. And that's run into the monitor itself. I also have an OTG adapter plugged in so I can have mouse support. And I'm going to be using the stock power supply and a 2.5 amp power supply. So we're going to get benchmarks on those also. So first up, I've already run the test with the stock power supply and the 2.5 amp power supply with no external cooling on the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. And looking down the list here, there's not much of a difference between the stock 1 amp power supply and a 2.5 amp power supply. So the bottom three are run with the stock 1 amp power supply and the top two are with the 2.5. They're all within margin of error, and by the end of this video, I'm going to create a chart for you. Basically, you're not going to get a jump in CPU performance by adding a better power supply to the Amazon Fire Stick. Now, Geekbench is specifically for the CPU. Let's move over to a GPU benchmark. I used 3D Mark, iStorm Extreme, and it's pretty much the same story here. The best score I got with the stock power supply was 5,500, and when adding the 2.5 amp power supply, I actually scored a little lower than that, but then my next test yielded a bit higher. So this is all within margin of error. The best score I got out of all of this was with the 2.5 amp power supply at 5,513. But if I ran this test over and over again with the stock power supply, I probably would have hit that eventually. So is it worth adding a 2.5 amp power supply? I don't think so. Just stick with the stock one you have. You're going to get the same performance. Now it's time to add some external cooling. I'm going to be using this 12 volt high powered squirrel cage fan. This thing will cool pretty much anything off. And I'm going to pull the Amazon Fire Stick apart. When I take this apart here, you're going to see that there is aluminum heat sinks on both sides. I won't be adding any extra heat sinks because this fan here is going to blow cold air over the heat sinks that are already pre installed and keep this thing very chilly. Adding an extra heat sink isn't going to help out. I have the fan in place with double sided sticky tape so it's going to stay in the same exact spot. And all we're going to do is cool off those stock aluminum heat sinks that are already pre installed. I'm going to start this fan up. As you can hear, this little fan puts out some air. So there's no chance at all we're going to hit thermal throttle, if we're hitting it at all, while this fan is pointed towards the stock aluminum heat sinks. All that's left to do is run those same benchmarks, and I'm going to speed this up. We're going in for a Geekbench. And I'll create a chart with everything at the end here, but I do want you to see the score straight out of the box with this fan on it. This is sped up by 3000%. I will run this a couple more times and then make up some charts for the end of the video, but our single core score was 711, multi-core 2139. So with the 1 amp power supply on a multi-core, the best score I was able to get was 2133. This is only 5 more points ahead of that. So really what's happening here is Amazon or whoever made the chip, which is MediaTek, set the thermal throttle on this to probably 105 degrees Celsius, which is going to be really hard to reach that just doing normal tasks. So you're not going to notice any performance gain by adding a fan. Here is the 3D Mark test, 5,508. Just with the 2.5 amp power supply and no fan, I scored a 5,513. I'm going to go ahead and make up a graph and I'll be right back. So in the end, you're not going to have any noticeable gains by adding a fan or even a better power supply to the Amazon Stick 4K. I really wish we would have saw something here, but a lot of these lower end cheaper devices have a really high thermal threshold, like 105 degrees Celsius, because if the chip gets damaged, it's not going to cost the company much at all to send you a new one. I had a lot of people asking about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. I wish it was a different case here, but unfortunately, we're just not going to get any gains out of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 
And like always, thanks for watching.